Okay. I just pulled up. Probably a lot of traffic noise. I just pulled up to Alligator Alley. Which is in the Everglades Park. I don't want to jinx myself, but I just tied on a Ned rig because I'm trying a new bait today and uh, cast it to see how it casts. And as soon as it hit the water, I got a fish. That could be really good or really bad. You know, that first fish curse. First cast curse, I should say. So, gonna do some exploring today. Got a bass. He's a jumper. All right. So that's two fish already, which is a really good sign. I know he's a little dank, but hey, happy to get bit so quickly out of the box here a couple times. So this is what I was playing with. This first slide, I would never throw a Ned rig right now, but this is the new a new uh, Ned to new to me. It's the missile baits. Uh, I think it's called the Ned Bomb. And if you look there, it's a really smooth profile. Fits really well in that Ned Lock hook. And uh, made a couple pitches and they just hammered it. It's hard to put it down, right? I just caught a fish. Okay, been screwing around long enough. Ready to throw my frog. I'm throwing the depths this morning. It's a nice profile. I can do a lot of things with it. If you see, it's kind of got flat sides on it. Um, and it's really versatile, especially it's just in super thick stuff. Uh, so I can run it on the edges in the open water and then easily walk it through the vegetation. So I've gotten bit on some soft plastics, just kind of screwing around. Now I want to see if uh, I can get a topwater bite going. All the fish I've caught have been have been actual bass, and I know there's tons of cichlids, smaller peacocks in here as well. Another one. Mm. Little Everglades water in the eyeball. All right, buddy. Chill, chill, chill. I know, life is tough. You gotta flee gators and then get thrown around by me. All right, there's a bite, there's a bite. That's four or five already. They just wouldn't eat that frog. I throw it for about 20 minutes. They're eating the worm, so. That is good. Big storm coming in and we're getting rained on. I do not want my, my fancy microphone getting rained on. So I'm gonna pick up here in a second. I'm gonna roll down that away, away from the storm. Kinda just swimming it right now like a, a small swim bait. There's another bite. Eat it. He ate it. It's another little guy. Another little guy. I gotta tell you, I mean, this Ned bomb is just getting crushed. I was gonna pull a small swim bait out, but with the tail on this thing, you can swim it pretty good in that one. Just crushed it. Ah, here comes the heavy rain. 
Yeah, so, yeah, found the bridge, yeah, I, I feel like it's every time I want to go fish. Did you look at the weather? No. It's your only day off, you want to get out and fish. And then just, the fishing gods just unleash the fury, Mitch. Um, and my uh, rain jacket, I believe, is sitting on top of the washing machine. There's literally nothing dry going on here. I just went uh, four miles through rain that hurt my face. Hey guys, I just broke off. So I'm going to tie a new net on, so I want to show you a couple things. This is a Gamagatsu box that I use for my, uh, my kind of my finesse hooks. And it's kind of slick, all right? They just, the hooks just go in just like this, top view. And I've got everything from, you know, drop shot hooks. Um, I've got Neds, right? What I like lately, guys, for Ned-wise is this Ned, it's called Ned Lock. So if you guys have used the traditional Neds with the wire keepers, and you know, they get twisted on there and um, just, a, they can be a pain. These Ned Locks, they go right on and they don't come off. Try them guys, make a huge difference. They work with almost any Ned. This is a great size. You get, they hook the fish. I can't recommend them enough and I've got tons of them. But anyway, if you guys are looking for a way to keep your hooks organized and just not all over the place like I used to have them, this G-Lock box, I think it's called the G-Lock. Check it out, I think it's like 10 bucks. So since the Ned Bite is on, here's our fish, and these are like, this is like every fish I've caught so far. It's like one, one pound range fish. But what they're eating is this Ned rig. And I tried, I was playing with the missile baits earlier. There's a bunch of new ones that hit the market. and I've been wanting to use these. This is the uh, Strike King model. It looks a lot like their structure bug, if you look at it. Uh, but again, you know, get the Nedlock hooks and you can try a whole bunch. This is just a little cross one actually they've been eating better than the missile one so far. He's on it. Who doggy? He's on it.
right guys so i mean we figured out the ned part i think that's a given i've caught i, I don't even know how many 15 ish on the ned rig and it's early um threw the frog around i flipped a little bit bite wasn't really on i'm gonna throw a much bigger bait we're gonna go to a trick worm this is the doa baits if you guys aren't familiar with doa in florida i wasn't either i wasn't either until i moved to florida you good florida guys are going to know all about it but in arizona we don't know doa and uh they've got a whole line of baits they make baits uh for salt water fresh water good stuff in my experience so i'm going to throw their version of the trick worm black and blue little tiny weight but we'll flip these edges maybe just inside the edges and try and get bit here <laughs> so just to give you guys a sense this is what's happening right now eight inch worm 10 inch fish again guys we just continue to be on the the small fish pattern big baits little baits it doesn't matter they're feeding and it's fun but we're on a quest to find at least one bigger fish today so we'll see if we can't get it done One on a swim bait. So just throw it right down the edge, and that is where these fish are. And maybe my timing's not right for the bigger fish, but here we go. He ate the swim bait. So here's what we're looking at again: another smallish fish, and they ate the live target. This is one of their new shad. Um, panic minnow, or? I'll, I'll, I'll refer to it later, but that's a, this is a super realistic, awesome swim bait. I love this thing. It, it, it's worked really well for me since I tried them out. They're so realistic. This one's more of kind of a neutral color. They got some really great colors. This thing swims really naturally and uh, just a great looking, easy to, easy to catch them on, on bait. Oh, there's a lot of gar. I'm seeing tons of gar, and those gar just swipe at it. They don't get the hook too well. But I've been met multiple times by those gar. There's been some pretty big ones cruising around here. Normally you catch them like this on swim baits and stuff, but there's some bigger ones roaming around. It'd be cool to kind of catch one of those bigger guys. You got to hook them just right and hope they don't break your line. Those big teeth they have. Right when it... Right when it landed, oh. get over that. Man, they are feeding like crazy in here. It's another small one, but man, this is fun. Love to catch a five, six pounder, but I can't complain. We've all had days where fishing's super tough, right? So can't complain when, you, when you're getting bit by these guys. You know what might work even better is throwing a jerk bait. I can just keep it in their strike zone so much longer. All right, so switching away from the swim bait, like I was saying, I'm getting bit. I'm getting a lot of fish slapping at it. And when that happens, I always turn to a jerk bait, a uh, confidence bait for me, for sure. So I'm throwing the, it's the Rapato, I think it's the Shadow, yeah, the Shadow Wrap. Um, and it, it actually rises, this one does. So you, you, you dig, 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 and it rises when it, and so instead of, you know, being neutral, it's going to actually slow rise up. And uh, it'll let me keep the bait in the strike zone a little bit longer. If I get bit, I can just pop it let it go up usually you're going to get those fish that are a little slapping out of at a swim bait so we'll see what we can do here okay first cast with the old jerk bait very bad cast there is an alligator usually see a lot of alligators it's the first one of the day 
All right, first cast with the jerk bay. Here's another big alligator. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, there he goes. Kind of freaky. There he is. A little bit, no. Man, he hammered the jerk bait that time. Man, you get them on the paws, man. When you when you got this thing working right and they're on a jerk bait, you're, they just crush it on the paws. And you you pick up and boof, just heavy. So slightly bigger than what we've been getting. Uh, that one just hammered the jerk bait a couple casts after them swiping at that swim bait. We 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 got one on a jerk bait. So I'm gonna continue working this jerk bait down the line here. Here is another one. Oh, he came off. Dang it. That was my bad. I got a little sloppy on that one. There he is. <laughs> All right. We made three casts and we caught two fish on the jerk bait. So, so far, so good. There's another one. And these are dark. Definitely a good switch we made. Still struggling with size, but hey, you convert on the bites you get, you're gonna end up getting some bigger ones. Get this hook out of my shirt. There's one. This one might be better. Might be better. Nah. Oh yeah, what is this? That's a big old gar. We got a gar, guys. Not a big, big one, but. Oh, he came off. Damn, I wanted to show that to you. I'm gonna have to get my net ready for next time. There he is. That was a good fish. He was hooked sideways, but that was a bigger one. I'll, hopefully we got good footage of him, but that was a two and a half, three pounder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> this guy came out. Oh, nice. So there's the bigger fish we're looking for, guys. Finally. And he came racing out right at the end of the cast and slammed it. So we've been grinding, we've been fighting for it. And we finally got it. Big old mouth on him. Awesome. Awesome, I just had a feeling about the jerk bait. So we'll just continue throwing that. If we're gonna get fish like this, I'm all in for that, for sure. clear <laughs> on my phone uh man i went along and fished i had to put my go my camera away because um it was just too rain too hard i have open mic expensive camera i don't want to mess it up so uh i had to uh put it away but i just continued fishing 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 the bite, fish are biting like in, insane. I caught several, I don't know, 40 more fish in the last three hours. Um, but I just can't, and the weather report says it's gonna get worse. I mean, look, look at my hood. I mean, I can't, I can't get more wet than I am now. <laughs> so, I gotta call it, and I got a long drive home, and it's gonna be a slow drive because there's like no visibility. So I gotta end the video, but I had a ton of fun today. I uh, caught a ton of fish. There's not a ton of big ones, but did catch several in the one half, two and a half pound range. I uh, caught one three plus. I'll try to get a picture of it. Although I don't know. 
you guys, this is, this is madness out here. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'm going to be doing just weekly, um, you know, fishing adventures. I, I moved here from to Florida from Arizona. So I've got, there's so much water here. I'm just going to be exploring and taking to trips like this to new places. Um, if you, any Florida guys or gals know of any place I should go in Florida, hit me up. I'll definitely hope down to take day trips. I, on Mondays I, I do trips and get the videos together uh, for like about midweek every week. So um, this was the Everglades and uh, thanks for watching. If you, if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. Um, hit me up on uh, Instagram. Love to hear from you guys. Um, also Facebook. We've got a, a page there as well. All right. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.